Prince Harry is now the thorn in the side of at least three major newspaper groups, The Sun, The Mirror, and The Daily Mail and Mail on Sunday. When I started Yellow Press, I signed about 16 books. The first 10 of those, they were written by journalists and private investigators who'd been caught up in the phone hacking scandal, and all of them were tied in one way or another to Prince Harry's crusade to clean up the press. So either they were private investigators who'd hacked Prince Harry, or they were journalists who'd, uh, who'd worked on Prince Harry's stories. You know, for example, I, I signed Glenn Mulcair, the, the, the person who hacked Prince Harry, Greg Miskew, who'd instructed him to hack Prince Harry, Daniel Hanks, who'd investigated Harry while he was uh, being a bit of a playboy in the States. Duncan Larkin's book, Duncan was the royal editor of The Sun, who'd reported on Prince Harry's stories for years. It's essential that we're able to access characters like the journalists who were involved, the private investigators, in order to piece together the puzzle, really, about how many of the stories that we see sensationalised about people like Prince Harry um, have ended up in our newspapers. You know, this has turned his life on its head and his war against the newspapers is basically relying on the evidence of people like this. So, you know, for him it's critical, but it's also really interesting to see, you know, the mechanisms at work, not just, you know, the newspaper stories, but how they ended up there and um, the illegal means by which they did. You know, that's an ongoing war, but Harry, I believe, wants the truth to come out in the same way that Glenn Mulcair and Greg Miskew wanted the truth to come out. So it's very important that people realise that Harry's fighting what I believe is the good fight, and this is all part of that fight. The book series is called Prince Harry's War.